Hello friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a very simple roasted red pepper soup. Instead of making it a cream-based soup, we are going to soak some raw cashews in water to give it that creamy consistency but without using any dairy. Okay, so I've added a quarter cup of raw cashews to a bowl and just covered them with water. And while those are softening, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the other ingredients. First, what I'm gonna do is have and seed my bell peppers. What we're gonna do next is line a baking sheet with aluminum foil, brush the tops of our bell peppers with a little olive oil, and then we'll set them into the oven to broil for about five to seven minutes. You want the skin to get pretty dark and charred so that it easily pulls off, and it also gives a nice uh, kind of smoky flavor to our soup. All right, these are out and ready for us. So what we're gonna do is place them into a bowl, cover the bowl with some cling wrap. It's gonna steam them, and that's gonna help loosen the skins even more. These are cool enough to the touch now. They should come off pretty easily, but it's okay if you don't get all of the skins off. Now that our peppers are all peeled, we're ready to put all of the rest of our ingredients into the blender. I am going to start with throwing our peppers in here. I've got a half cup of water that I'm gonna add. Our cashews, I've drained them. One tablespoon of olive oil. A pinch of cayenne pepper. You could use more or less depending on how spicy you like things. A pinch of red pepper flakes as well. Half teaspoon of sea salt. And a half teaspoon of honey. I'm also going to do about a teaspoon of lemon juice. Now that all of our ingredients are in the blender, I am going to go ahead and whirl the crap out of it because you want it to be really smooth, kind of velvety. If at any point you notice it needs a little extra water, go ahead and add some just so you get it to the consistency that you like. All right, I'm ready to taste this and make sure that we got everything right. Mm, it is it's delicious, it's really good, it's really easy to make. I'm gonna fill up this container here with it and bring it to work with me tomorrow for my lunch. And I really hope you try out this recipe. If you liked this video, please share, please subscribe and come back again next week. And if you have any feedback or comments, I'd love to hear what you're thinking. Thanks so much and have a great day. A baguette. And now we're going to sprinkle a few mint leaves and a spoonful of our sugar snap pea puree.